You guys know what holiday is coming up? That's right, Arbor Day! Oh wait, no, it's a holiday that's almost equally as useless. Valentine's Day, everyone's favorite corporate show holiday, blah blah blah. So rather than discussing the various politics and opinions about Valentine's Day that we all may or may not have, I think it's nice to just talk about people who are happy on Valentine's Day. That being a fictional couple in media because, well, on media mementos, we tend to talk about things in media, right? A lot of you who know me will know that I am a big fan of Charles Schultz's franchise, Peanuts. Very few things that have come out of this franchise are things I can say I don't like. The only which being things like it's the girl in the big red truck, Charlie Brown, or a couple of the specials. One of the many, many reoccurring themes in Peanuts is unrequited love. Whether it be Sally and Linus, or Peppermint Patty and Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown and the little red-haired girl, Marcy and Charlie Brown, there's a lot of stuff about Charlie Brown. For a guy that everyone's supposed to hate, a lot of people sure seem to love him. Or in the little red-haired girl's case, be the object of his affection but either not care or not know about it, but that's a topic for another day if or when we ever get there. But the one I want to focus on today is one of them that I find the most interesting. Lucy and Schroeder. These two have become a staple in the franchise. Whenever people see Lucy leaning against that piano, they immediately know what it's about. Almost from the very beginning, Lucy has had an uncontrollable desire to be with Schroeder, but Schroeder seems to not really care. I say seems because, well, we'll get to that towards the end. Let's talk about the dichotomy between these two and what really goes on in their relationship, or lack thereof. This all started on January 27th, 1953. If you're wondering why the Peanuts characters look so different here, that's because they're three years old. In Charles Schultz's strip, they actually age with time. Not with our years, of course, because then Charlie Brown would be like in his early 70s. No, no, no. I'm not really sure how the time scale works, but that's not really important. Maybe that's a topic for another day, but probably not. So, this is how it all starts off. What's that you're playing, Schroeder? It's the Waltz of the Flowers, Lucy. It's from the Nutcracker Suite. Sweet! He called me sweet! I've never been so happy in all my life! From then on, Lucy has been madly in love with Schroeder. She didn't really tell him this until May 30th of that year with this strip. <clears throat> He noticed me! He noticed me! I've never been so happy in all my life! Yeah, that kind of repeated the same beats from the first one, but still, the point has been made. Lucy would forevermore be hanging on the end of Schroeder's piano trying to get his attention. She'd do a couple things and resort to a few tactics, some of which being outright flirtatious or just trying to have general advances on him with him not really responding in kind. You know what? When I'm with you, I'm so happy that I'm afraid my heart is going to pop. Don't worry about that. No one has ever died of heart pop. Or this one. Hi, sweetie. If we were married, Schroeder, I'd come in every morning with my feather duster and I'd dust the top of your piano. Then I'd dust the keys, and then, just before I'd leave the room, I'd lean over with my feather duster, and with a coy look on my face, I'd sort of go, kitschy, kitschy, kitschy. Well, of course, we could always leave out the kitschy, kitschy, kitschies. <sighs> And when these don't work, Lucy tends to talk about Schroeder's favorite thing, or rather person of all time, Beethoven. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Schroeder has a uh, certain fondness for this legendary composer. It is a rather subtle trait, so I don't blame you guys for not picking up on it at first, but Schroeder is in fact a big fan of Beethoven. So Lucy will try to talk to him about Beethoven, either by saying, hey, Beethoven wasn't so great, or Beethoven was actually amazing. Part of this has to do with Schroeder's favorite holiday of all time, Beethoven Day. Beethoven Day is the day where we celebrate Beethoven and all of his glory. Just so happens to be on his birthday as well. Nobody else in the Peanuts gang really cares about Beethoven Day, except Lucy. But not because she actually likes Beethoven, that's just because she likes Schroeder and wants him to be happy. Additionally, she also believes that if Schroeder believes that she likes Beethoven, he will fall madly in love with her right back. Unfortunately for her, this never really works out because her ulterior motives are, let's just say, a bit in the forefront. Happy Beethoven's birthday! On Beethoven's birthday, it is customary to kiss someone you like right squack on the nose. Squack! That could start a stampede to Brahms. Lucy's fascination with Schroeder goes so far as to making her join Charlie Brown's baseball team just for the purpose of getting closer to Schroeder. 
Of course, this never really goes well for anybody considering the fact Lucy can't play baseball to save her life, Schroeder doesn't want her on the team, and she just bugs Charlie Brown most of the time. Nobody's really happy with her being there, not even Lucy considering the fact she's not even getting any results. Still, she sticks it out with that ever so slight hope that Schroeder will actually notice her there. Which, of course, he doesn't. Until he starts making fun of her and then makes a bad deal with her saying if you get a home run, then I will give you a kiss. And then she gets a home run, motivated by what Schroeder said. But because she sees that Schroeder is not really willing to hold up his end of the bargain and is doing it through gritted teeth, she decides to pass. She claims this is a score for women's lit, which understandably, yeah. Despite the fact that a lot of the things Lucy talks about makes it seem like she wants to be a 1950s stereotypical housewife, she does want equal treatment. And that's why she mentions women's lib a lot of the time. However, I do believe that there is more to this than just standing up for herself. She wants her first kiss with Schroeder to actually mean something. And if Schroeder's gonna act like this during their first kiss, then no, that's not gonna cut it. Especially because she's been dreaming about this for so, so long. Her relationship with Schroeder, or again, lack thereof, is a lot like Charlie Brown and the Little Red-Haired Girl. Only instead of being so shy that she can't say anything, Lucy is just so aggressive and so in your face about it that she's kind of scaring Schroeder away. Schroeder is a very self-occupied man. He likes what he likes, doesn't like what he doesn't like, and nothing is gonna change that. He's very opinionated, he's very stuck in his ways, and he's an extremely intellectual man. Especially because he's a young boy, romance isn't really on his mind. So if anything, if Lucy just eased up, she might actually get some decent results. Maybe they actually would get together. What she has to do is let him breathe, let him get some space. Sure, keep coming around every so often and supporting him, but tone down the advances. Especially for a young boy like Schroeder, that could scare him off. And it does, all the time. Trust me on this one, Lucy. Stuff like this is not gonna cut it with him. Not in the slightest. However, I don't think she ever is actually gonna step off and let Schroeder breathe, judging by strips like these. Having finally had enough of being ignored by Schroeder, Lucy decides to open up, telling Schroeder about what exactly will happen when, or if, she ever left. She says that Schroeder will be all destroyed and he'll be miserable, but it's very obvious that this isn't what would happen to Schroeder, this is what would happen to Lucy. And perhaps also what she's going through right now because Schroeder isn't paying attention to her. Sometimes I think you don't realize that you could lose me. Are you sure that you want to suffer the tortures of the memory of a lost love? Do you know the tortures of the memory of a lost love? It's awful! It will haunt you night and day! You will wake up at night screaming! You can't eat! You can't sleep! You want to smash things! You'll hate yourself and the world and everybody in it! Oh. Are you sure you want to risk losing me? It's gotten that bad, so I guess Lucy should really lighten up not just for Schroeder's sake, but her own. This obsession is clearly not doing any benefits towards her mental health. Perhaps this could even be why she's so crabby to everybody. Of course, Lucy's always been a stick-in-the-mud grouch who always wants things her way and only her way. But maybe, just maybe, if she decided to just clear her mind, empty her thoughts, things would be a lot better. A lot of the people in the Peanuts fandom really wonder, does Schroeder actually like Lucy? Some people say yes, some people say no, but here are some pieces of evidence I have that actually argue in favor of Schroeder liking Lucy. I have to mention this one real quick because it's often thrown around as evidence. However, this is actually not the case. Considering the fact that Schroeder says that this whole thing was a joke at the end, people often crop out that last little bit and use it as evidence. But nope, it's not, sorry. But here are two pieces of evidence that I actually can find. Here's a good old Beethoven Day strip. Surprise! What's this? It's a cupcake. Happy Beethoven's birthday! You remembered! I can't believe it! That's amazing! Smack! Ah! Dog lips! I've been kissed by dog lips! No! Wait! Wait, Lucy! Wait! What's wrong with dog lips? I've seen people go back and forth on this one. Maybe it's Schroeder being so excited that he just gave Lucy something that he knew she always wanted. Or maybe it's just him starting to actually warm up to her. Personally, I think this one is a bit of a gray area, though I kinda see it as more of a 52-48 split in favor. Uh, but that's starting to sound geeky. 
The whole thing I'm saying is that there is some evidence to be drawn here, but there's also a lot of counter evidence. But one that I think is irrefutable is the story arc about the Van Pelt family moving away. Granted, most of it is about Charlie Brown coping with the loss of his best friend, though Schroeder does get a bit of the spotlight. He finds out that Lucy was leaving, even though she told him, but he thought it was just a joke. He thought it was just another thing she was saying to try to get his attention and sympathy. No, nope, her family was actually leaving for real, and he doesn't take it too well. He can't play the piano, he can't think straight, and he can't stop thinking about Lucy. He doesn't really want to, and he doesn't really know why, but even if he doesn't understand why, we the audience can kind of see. Sure, there's an argument that maybe it's because he's so used to her being there that he can't focus without her, but it seems like there might be a bit more to it than just that, if you get what I'm saying. Because Charles Schultz never really believed in happy endings, he never really had any of the Peanuts characters get together, which is understandable. Unrequited love is a big part of life, and I think it's also a lot more fun to theorize as to whether or not these people actually made it in the end. Personally, I would kind of be open to the idea of Lucy and Schroeder getting together, but only when they get their acts together first. The problem with this, though, is that we don't see enough of their interactions in a non-hostile way to see if they actually would fit. On paper, they seem decent, I suppose, but on paper, a lot of things work. On paper, communism works, but in practice, not so much. So I guess it's all up to interpretation on this one. But Lucy and Schroeder, I think, is probably the most interesting dynamic that's going on, in the romantic side at least, of Charles Schultz's Peanuts. A girl constantly chasing after a guy who has no interest in her, and trying to suffocate him until he finally reciprocates. That is the dichotomy of Lucy and Schroeder. Well folks, thank you very much for watching the video. What'd you guys think? Who's your favorite Peanuts character? And favorite Peanuts couple? Happy Valentine's Day everybody! I thank you very much for watching, and comment below and let me know the answers to the questions because as always, I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. See you next week. Good night, everybody.